Welcome to a new Fusion 360 tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to use the new tool axis functionality available within the Manufacture Workspace. As this enhancement is still in the initial stage, it is only applicable for the steep and shallow toolpath for now. However, we're working hard to roll it out to more 3D toolpaths. This aims to allow users to create a 5 axis strategy out of a simpler 3 axis one with just a few clicks. Let's now look at a few examples of how to use this new functionality. I'm going to start by creating a steep and shallow toolpath. We're going to concentrate our attention to a new tab that's been added to the dialog box, called Tool Axis. Here, the first thing to do is to select Primary Tool Axis mode. I can choose among several options. Vertical will align the tool with the specified tool orientation. Lead and Lean will tilt the tool axis based on two angles. The Lean angle tilts the tool sideways from the direction of cut. The Lead angle instead will tilt the tool in the direction of cut. This option is recommended when users don't want to cut with the center tip of a ball nose tool, for example. Setting both angles to zero instead will align the tool axis to the surface normal. From Curve, will make your tooltip drive away from a sketch curve. To curve, instead, will drive the tooltip towards a sketch curve. From and to curve are good options, for example, to machine cylindrical-like areas. From and to point work similarly to the from and to curve options, this time with a sketch point. These are good options, for example, for spherical-like parts. In the same section of the interface, you can also set a smoothing distance, the distance over which any sudden tool axis tilting can be smoothed to provide a better surface finish. The larger the distance, the more gradual the transition. Finally, you can also set a smoothing angle, an angle within which the algorithm is free to move the tool axis without any restrictions besides toolpad safety. For both the smoothing distance and angle, we recommend using the default values, to start with. These smoothing parameters obviously won't apply if your primary tool axis is set to vertical, as the tool is only moving in three axes. Let's now create a toolpath for the part on my screen. In this case, I want to use from point. All I need to do is sketch a point and set my smoothing parameters. I can also set tool axis limits, should I want to. These will have to be consistent with the axis limits your machine can reach. In this case, I want my maximum tilt angle to be 110 degrees, as that's the maximum the A-axis on my machine is capable of. I'm also going to choose to maintain the maximum tool axis to machine any areas where the given limit is exceeded. I could choose not to machine those areas where this happens by selecting Trim Toolpath. If I generate this toolpath, you can see that my tool tilts and changes axis simultaneously to machine the chosen surface, without any collisions or gouges, using the given point as a reference. Let's now look at another example, where I'm going to use Lead and Lean. After setting the desired parameters in the other tabs, I need to pick my Lead and Lean angles and my smoothing parameters. If I set my Lean angle to zero, I'll have no sideways tilting, for my lead angle, I'll go for 5 degrees. This way, as I'm machining with a tip radius tool, I'll be cutting with its leading edge. You can see this better now when I simulate the tupa. I'm now going to show you how to use the collision avoidance functionality within the tool axis tab. This new feature allows users to pick how the tool should tilt when avoiding a collision. There are five options. My personal favorite, the automatic option, will automatically select the most suitable direction in which to tilt the tool to avoid a collision. This option works great for feature-rich parts like the mold you can see on my screen. The only thing to keep in mind is to set your tool axis primary mode to vertical or this option won't be available. From and to point 
will tilt the tooltip respectively away from and towards a sketched point. Similarly, from and to curve will tilt the tooltip respectively away from and towards a sketched curve. The last four options are useful for simpler areas to machine, whilst the automatic option is the go-to choice for more complex parts. Let's now look at how this works. Once the toolpath is generated, we can simulate to observe the results. As you can see, the tool tilts in different directions depending on the area it is machining. Easy, right? Hopefully this helps you get started using the new 5-axis functionality in Fusion 360. As always, give this video a thumbs up if it was useful, and let us know what you think in the comments. See you next time!